My name is Josephine Malmwick. I'm 26 years old and I'm studying a PhD degree in neuroscience at Flinders University. I'm originally from Sweden. I come from a little town in the middle of Sweden, the outback. I was doing a bachelor's and master's in molecular biology and at the finish of it I have to do a diploma work. So I decided that I should go to Australia. My supervisor at the moment is Hakan Miedemann. He's also from Sweden. He uh, not only organized so that I could actually do my PhD degree, he also organized so that my fees to the university is paid by a scholarship from Sweden. Uh, I'm interested in astrocytes, which is a very important cell type in the brain. Uh, it's responsible for supporting the neurons in the brain. They are definitely a very important cell type. Flinders University is very famous for its Centre for Neuroscience. There are many established researchers conducting their neuroscience research, so I got the opportunity to actually meet them and see them in the hallways and uh, learn from them all, everything that they know. I live in Flinders University Hall and uh, the first day I came I instantly got friends because everyone's very interested in getting to know you. So by the end of the year you have 240 friends because that's how many people live there every year. <laughs> and I also uh, started playing soccer again. And I also do a lot of uh, musical things. I sing a lot with my friend Andrew and we just uh, we had a few gigs here and there where I sing and he plays the guitar. I hold my own choir where the residents from the Flinders University Hall can join and uh, we sing different songs, mostly ballads and many harmonies, so at least four harmonies. Stars shining to right above you, you. Night breezes seem to whisper, I love you. There's always a musical every year in Flinders University Hall. So uh, this year the choir will be involved a lot in that and sing for that. Mamma mia! When I first came to Adelaide I was a very shy 22 year old and I wasn't sure that I, what I was going to do now was actually what I wanted. Now I feel really certain that I really want to stay in neuroscience and I feel more confident to actually contribute to the neuroscience research in the future.